Hey y'all, it's Sasha. Welcome back to Carefree Curls. And today, sister girls and homeboys, if you're watching this video, I am going to be just doing a really quick um, pin curl um, tutorial and takedown. So I've never done pin curls or haven't done pin curls yet on my locks. So I'm going to be trying it because I have about another two weeks before I retwist my hair again so I just want to test out some styles that I can put into my hair and kind of stretch it out until my next retwist so I've really been wanting to do curls um, and I think pin curls would just be like the easiest way to kind of maybe not the easiest way but it would come out have the best outcome for my hair at this length because it's still fairly short and I don't want to do bantu knots. I feel like the bantu knot curl is too tight. And my hair doesn't really hold twist yet. Like two strand twist. Or maybe I'm just doing the two strand twist wrong. Which is also a possibility. So I think I'm just going to try pin curls and see how they come out. Um, if it comes out crazy, I'll just put my hair in some other style. Instead of just wearing it straight down, I'll do something else. And kind of work with it. Before I hop into this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and follow me along on my log journey. You also will be joining the family. Um, and then also make sure y'all leave any comments down below if you have any questions or um, maybe something I forgot to share. Just let me know. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to spray my hair with my rose water glycerin and oil mix right before just to get my hair moisturized. I'm also going to take some of my scalp oil and rub that throughout my hair and get it nice and moist so that way I don't have to ruin it um, once I put my pin curls in. I'm just going to give myself a little scalp massage. Yes, it feels so good. Open up. You open up. So now that I'm finished with kind of prepping my hair for the moisture part, make sure my hair doesn't come out dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and I've never tried this before, but I wanted some kind of product that I could use when I want to do a style that needs to be set, like a pin curl um, set or twist out or, you know, whatever kind of style I'm doing where I need it to hold. So I'm going to be trying the Design Essentials Twist and Set Setting Lotion. And this was $14 at my local um, beauty supply. All right, so I have my clips. So I'm just going to use these to kind of separate the hair so I can see what's kind of going on. And I am going to try to do one lock at a time for my pin curls. I know some people do two and three locks at a time because they have longer hair. So I don't think I need to do that right now. I'm just going to try to do one at a time. And see how it comes out now if you do two and three locks at a time in the pin curl then it's probably gonna come out a little bit looser so I mean you can still do that but I want it must be really defined and really curly so and my hair clip my hair out the way all right so I'm just gonna take the water spray just to get it damp this style can also be done if you come like fresh out of the shower I mean fresh out of a shampoo you can style your hair like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the almond avocado setting lotion. It does spray pretty heavy, so you might want to consider just putting it in your hand and like rubbing it on your lock. All right. Also, gonna need bobby pins. I don't know how you're natural without bobby pins. Just get a whole bunch. I think the set of 300 was like a two dollars maybe maybe even less than that anyway so you want your hair to be in the shape of a J this day so you want it to go to the essentially to the left to your towards your left hand so you're gonna take it hopefully y'all can see this and just fold it in and keep going until you can't anymore then pin it that and just keep doing that 
that same thing over and over. So I'm going to do the rest of my hair and then come back <laughs> and then I'll show y'all what that looks like. I'm going to give it all day to dry and I do say I have some errands to run today. So I think I'm just going to tie my hair in a scarf and keep it moving. Um, hopefully the pins don't stick out too much so you can't see like what's going on up under the scarf. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and let you guys know um, how long it took. Right now it's 1210 so hopefully it'll take me less than 20 minutes. 30 minutes or so to do my whole hair and I am doing each of them individually so I will be back all right y'all so I'm finally done it took me about a little bit less than two hours give or take to do everything but I got to sit down and watch TV while I was doing it I didn't need to stand up to be able to see my hair so it really didn't feel like two hours and it's so simple to do that you know I really didn't mind it so I'm hoping that it comes out really nicely and that my curls hold the method I use is pretty simple I did try to use two bobby pins especially in the back per I mean one bobby pin for two locks to make two pin curls and that worked but when I got towards the top it, it did not work because my hair is not in straight you know it's not a straight roll across so I just had to use some of them especially in the top and the sides I just used one bobby pin per pin, pin curl so yep I am really excited to see how this is going to come out I'm about to go ahead and tie my hair up So here are my results. It came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. I just pulled it up on the sides and did like a little faux hawk situation because it looked a little funky on the sides and I loved it. And I got lots of compliments on it as well.